Hi guys! Today we're tackling some common misconceptions about migrating to SharePoint Online. Ready? Let's go! Misconception number one. We just run some free migration tools and voila! SharePoint migration tool is free and can help you with some basic tasks, but full migration might require a paid tool such as ShareGate or FPoint. Misconception number two. We can migrate everything. The truth? Not every item or feature in SharePoint server can be directly migrated to the cloud. Some features may need alternatives, and others may not be supported at all. Misconception number three. We can host public websites in SharePoint Online. Nope. SharePoint Online stopped supporting public-facing websites in 2015. You'll need a different solution for that one. Misconception number four. We can control the SharePoint Online domain names. Uh-uh. SharePoint Online tenants are fixed under the SharePoint.com domain. So, no hosting your SharePoint Online sites under Contoso.com. It would have to be Contoso.SharePoint.com. Misconception number five. We can make SharePoint Online look exactly the way we want. Well, you can customize SharePoint Online, but it's not a blank canvas. There are some design limitations to keep in mind. Check out my video Styling SharePoint Online. It's a great resource. Misconception number six. Migration will only take a few hours or days. I hate to break it to you, but migrations can often last months or even years, rather than hours or days. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And finally, misconception number seven. IT department can migrate SharePoint server to SharePoint Online on their own, without any help from the business. Not quite. It involves IT and the business. IT needs to provide as much information as possible so that the business can make informed decisions before migration can begin. So there you have it. Migration to SharePoint Online is a journey, with some bumps along the way. But with good planning, team effort, and the right expectations, you'll get there. Until next time.